Hello my dear students, my name is Anmant Ladwa, welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to solve Karnataka State SSLC exercise 13.1 or CBSC class 10 exercise 14.1. Question number 5. In a retail market, fruit vendors were selling mangoes kept in packing boxes. These boxes contained varying number of mangoes. The following was the distribution of mangoes according to the number of boxes. Number of mangoes, number of boxes. So here number of mangoes ranging from 50 to 50 to 15, 53 to 55, 110, 56 to 58, 135, 59 to 61, 115, 62 to 64, 25. Find the mean number of mangoes kept in a packaging box. What method of finding the mean did you choose? Now let us find the solution for the given problem. Here number of mangoes are taken as class intervals. Here you can see. Uh, the number of mangoes class interval is 50, 52 and 53 to 55, 56 to 58 and here data is not continuous. So here we are going to add 0 0.5 to the upper limit and we are going to subtract 0 0.5 to the lower limit. So here for the first class interval, so instead of writing 50, we will write here 49.5. Next for the upper class limit, we are going to add 0 0.5 so that is 52.5 so similarly here we will write next is 52.5 to 55.5 next 55.5 to 58.5 next we will write 58.5 to 61.5 next we will write 60 1.5 to 64.5 now let us write the frequencies so here it is 15 110 next 135 next 115 next 25 now let us take class mark so already we know that class mark can be written as we'll write class mark is denoted as xi is equal to upper class limit plus lower class limit whole divided by 2 gives us the class mark so that is midpoint of this class interval so here 49.5 plus 52.5 divided by 2 this gives us 51 next 52.5 plus 55.5 divided by 2 gives us 54 next 55.5 plus 58.5 divided by 2 gives us 57 next 58.5 plus 61.5 gives whole divided by 2 gives us 60 next 61.5 plus 64.5 divided by 2 gives us 63 now here we are going to use a uh, step deviation method here we'll write di is equal to xi minus a so here we'll take assumed mean is equal to a is equal to let us take assumed mean as 57 because it is the middle number so here we'll write 57 next we'll write class size so which is denoted as h is equal to here you can see the class size is if i subtract the upper class limit in a lower class limit then we are going to get difference so that is lower class limit upper class limit minus lower class limit that is 52.5 minus 49.5 gives us 3 so here it is the common difference present so here we'll write h as 3 next we are going to subtract this value of a that is 57 from xi so here we'll get di so 51 minus 57 so this gives us minus 6 next 54 minus 57 gives us minus 3 
57 minus 57 is 0. Next, 60 minus 57 is plus 3. 63 minus 57 gives us plus 6. Next, we'll move on to UI. UI is equal to, here we'll write XI minus A divided by H. So, here XI minus A is DI. So, DI divided by H is 3. So, here we need to divide this DI by 3. So, that is minus 6 by 3 is 3, 2 is a 6. So, here we will get minus 2. Next, 3, 1 is a 3. So, it will become minus 1. Next, 0 by 3 gives us 0. Next, 3 by 3 is plus 1. So, 6 by 3 gives us 3, 2 is a 6. Next, we will write Fi into Ui. So, here we are going to multiply this Fi into Ui. 15, 2 is a minus 30. Next, 110 into minus 1 is minus 110. Next, 135 zeros are 0 only. So, 115 1s are 115. 25 2s are 50. So, now let us find out summation of Fi Ui. So, here uh, we can see here minus 30 minus 110 gives us minus 140. Minus 140 plus 115 plus 50 gives us 25. Now, we will write here summation of Fi is equal to here 15 plus 110 plus 135 plus 115 plus 25 gives us 400. Now, let us find mean. Mean can be denoted as x bar is equal to, we will write the formula to calculate the mean using step deviation method is a plus summation of fi into ui divided by summation of fi into h. So, let us find, let us substitute a is 57 plus, we will write here fi ui, summation of fi ui is 25 divided by summation of fi is 400 into h is 3. Now, let us further simplify 57 plus here this 425 will get divided by 400. So, here 5 5s five are 25, 5 8s are 40 and 0. So, here 5 1s are 5 1s are 5 uh, 6 uh, 30. Okay. So, it is 3 divided by 16. So, here we will write 3 divided by 16. Next, let us uh, take the LCM and multiply the 16 with 57. So, this gives us 912 plus 3 whole divided by 16. So, here 912 plus 3 gives us 915 divided by 16. So, now after simplification, we are going to get 57.18. Hello, my dear students. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Anmant Ladwa. If you want to watch the next video, you can click on this icon. And if you want to watch the previous video, then you can click on this icon. If you want to get the latest updated videos, then you can click on this button to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Jai Hind. Vande Matram.